Yes, you love what you're saying. In today's video, we're going to be designing a horror inspired streetwear tee. So, three of my favourite things, horror, design and music. These three interests seem to regularly meet when designing posters and t-shirts. So today I'm going to bring you guys on a journey of how I created a horror inspired streetwear graphic using Travis Scott as my inspiration. So I began by importing an image of Travis Scott onto an A3 document. I then created a selection of Travis using the select and subject tool in which I then used the pen tool to catch any bits to preset missed out. Copy and paste in this selection, I was left with my background layer and the foreground of Travis. I then selected a filter gallery and experimented with which styles created a dark, illustrated aesthetic. Realising which styles worked for this, I went ahead with a dry brush and watercolour. Then using surface blur, I was able to soften the hard filter effect, creating a subtle oil paint style. Then using Adobe's new preset of colour adjustments, I selected the faded colour preset and applied this to my layer. I then followed this up by decreasing my saturation, allowing me to create a more gothic and moody colour palette. Okay, now it's time to have some fun with a little photo manipulation. Using this skull image, I positioned the layer above Travis Scott's face, selecting flip horizontal to mirror the direction of Travis's head. I then selected the pen tool and made a selection on one side of Travis's face. This is the space in which we're going to peel this poor guy's skin off. <laughs> Sorry mate. I created two duplicates of the layer and pasted them in the same place. I then added a colour overlay of black to the first layer underneath and selected the warp tool on the second layer to drag parts of our selected face portion down. Then using that skull image from earlier, I created a clipping mask above the first face selection and removed the colour overlay allowing us to see the skull. Then a little bit more positioning and skulls in place to realistically reflect the illusion. However, I don't know about you guys, but it's looking a little bit flat to me. So next we need to add some shadows to create a real sense of 3D depth. Using a clipping mask layer above the skull, I painted these soft black brush strokes just behind where the face begins to peel. I then added another faded preset colour adjustment to the skull and revisited the shadows with some wider brush dabs creating a little bit more realistic shadows. I found this image online which I wanted to use as my creepy background, I thought the colours worked really nicely with Travis Scott's skin tone so I pushed this layer behind my foreground and then treated the image with the same colour adjustments used previously. I decided to add this green outer glow into the image as I thought it looked quite ghostly and reminded me somewhat of a vintage horror tee. Then creating a section around the eyes, I created these solid colour shapes, which I was then able to add an outer glow and an inner shadow, resulting in Travis looking as if he's been possessed by some demon or ghostly spirit. Using the liquify tool, I dragged these little spikes down from his eyes, and as you'll see in a minute, I believe this effect looked really cool, almost like his eyes have been teared out. Maybe a little bit too graphic. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I wanted to do a little bit more finessing on the ghostly horror front, so I added a green colour overlay to the background, which I thought complemented the image. Then using the pen tool on the same layer as the eyes, I was able to create these sort of slits on the skin. Now 
Now guys, I sort of got to this point in the design and I realised that actually I wasn't really feeling the bright green outer glows. I think it definitely has potential, but for the result of the t-shirt I wanted, I decided to desaturate these parts of the design, leaving me with a white underneath instead. Which I personally think looks more of a mature inspired horror graphic instead of a old school Hollywood VFX approach. Let me know what you think. So here we have it, the horror inspired Travis Scott design mocked up on a t-shirt. I quite like the minimal fading this design has once the blending options have been set to screen, I think it looks like a pretty cool vintage tee. That skull manipulation really adds something quite twisted and different to the graphic, separating this design to other Travis Scott t-shirts. My final finishing touches were these lightning PNGs either side of Travis, I think it finished the design quite nicely. I feel like my design was a fine line between vintage bootleg and horror streetwear. Let me know if you guys would rock this t-shirt and what maybe you would have done differently. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really do appreciate you all. If you guys haven't already, then please feel free to go check out my socials, my Twitter and my Instagram. Till the next time guys, I'll see you in the next one in a bit.